Hello friends. In this video, we will explore different assembly statistics such as N50, L50, NG50, LG50, NA50, NGA50 and the concept of misassemblies. So, so these are very important parameter by which we can compare a different assembly and we can get lot of information about this assembly, uh, you know, assembly plots and so we can uh, regarding the assembly like the quality. Okay. So the topics like we'll see what is N50, L50, then NG50, LG50, then uh, interesting important point like which one to use, shall we use N50 or NG50 which is imp which is uh, useful actually. Then also NA50, NGA50 and we will uh, not only look and we'll also end with uh, understanding the correctness of the assembly. It is not just the assemble, assembly has happened but uh, you have to understand whether you know uh, the assembly is correct or not means is there any misassemblies is there so ca can we check that so yeah so how to uh, check that so we will see that okay so first let's uh, understand what is n50 and l50 so let's in a, in a, this demo example let's say we have uh, eight contexts like one two three four five six seven eight and uh, you increase you uh, order them with respect to uh, you know uh, from short to longer one let's say these are order in that way okay so now uh, let's say if we add all the uh, context, so we will get the total assembly size. Okay. So now, if we divided by two, that means if we get the fifty percent of, of the assembly size, then we have to find out from long one how many contexts. Uh, if we add them together, that will their total length will match the fifty percent of the assembly. Okay. So if we that parameter, if we say that means let's say these three contexts, if we add their contig length. So that will be either that will be greater than equal to the fifty percent of the assembly size. So if assembly size is thousand uh, you know kilo base pair, then fifty percent is five hundred kilo base pair. With that cutoff, how many contexts uh, from you know longer to shorter will reach to that? So here three. So L fifty value will be three. That means three contexts will together form fifty percent of the assembly. And what is the N fifty value? N fifty value of the will be the length of this shortest contig. Okay, so that means if it is, it's this third context, you know, from this to this third context length will be the N50 value. Okay, similarly for N75, we have to go how many contexts if we uh, from, you know, long to read, how many contexts will form the 75 percent of the assembly size. So here 1, 2, 3, let's say 5 contexts, if we add them, that will reach either greater than or equal to 75 percent of the genome size. So L75 will be 5 and N75 will be the contig length of this one. Okay. So that's why you will see that N75 will be always lesser than the N50 value because we have ordered the uh, contigs from short to long. So that's why you see this contig is more longer. So N50 value will be high, N75 will be comparatively smaller. But L50 will be 3 means L75 will be even higher than that because more and more contigs are getting added. So now if you go that what is 90% of the assembly size, so that means there are the 7 contigs uh, will uh, together form the 90 percent of the assembly size and what is n90 n90 will be this contig length which is even shorter than the n75 value n50 so that's why the from n1 to n100 if you go the uh, graph will always towards the, the, the uh, downtrend that's why in the quest so far whatever we have seen the plot will you know start from here and it will go the n50 over here then n75 so that means n value will keep on decreasing because of this because the we are arranging the context from short to long and l value will increase okay so now what is n50 n50 is uh, defined as that sequence length of the shortest contig at 50 percent of the total assembly length and l50 is that uh, how many contigs that form okay now this is just here with respect to the assembly size so here uh, the total assembly size we are just uh, using that for the percentage now same parameter same calculation but here instead of Okay, so now uh, best example I can show here. So let's say we have five, four contigs. Okay, contig one length five, four, two, one. So we have ordered them in the decreasing order. So what would be the assembly size? Like five plus four plus two plus one. That is twelve. So assembly size is twelve. And what is fifty percent of the assembly size? That is equal to twelve by two. That is six. So we have to check how many if which contigs will form. You know, greater than or equal to six. So we saw now say that five plus four nine. Right. So these two will form which is greater than 6. So, we say that contig 1 and contig 2 are, you know, uh, if we take them, so that will uh, reach 50 percent of the genome. So, L50 will be 2 and what is N50? N50 is the shortest contig. So, N50 will be 4 in this case and L50 is equal to 2. 
Now coming to the NG50, so now here instead of the assembly size, we will take the genome length, uh, genome as a constant. Okay, so genome with respect to that, we want to compare the 50 percent. So instead of 50 percent of the assembly size, we will say 50 percent of the genome size. Okay, so again the same 50 percent of the genome size, how many contexts will uh, reach to that, and how many, uh, what is that length of the shortest context? Same concept, and uh, you know uh, LG75 and NG75. Here LG90, NG90. Again, the NG value will decrease as you know level increase, and LG value will increase. Okay, so now the cons cons uh, question comes, which is useful, like N50 or NG50? Okay, so now take an example. Let's say there are two assembly you want to compare, and one assembly, the first assembly size is 50 kb, and the second assembly size is let's say 100 kb. So now, if you just say n 50 value, where uh, we are taking assembly size as uh, you know the uh, the parameter, so the size to consider for n 50 will be 25 kb, and the second case we are considering is 50 kb. So now you see these two you cannot compare. So that's why N50 value is not useful if your assembly sizes which you are comparing are significantly different because the N50 percent will be different. Okay, but if let's say the genome size is 100 kb, so now because the genome size will not change from assembly to assembly, this is always constant, will remain constant. So irrespective of whether assembly size is 50 kb or 100 kb, the size to consider for NG50 will always remain the half of the genome size that is 50 kb for both the assembly. That's why in the assemblathon in a competition, you know, we are using NG50 but not N50 value. So to check like which assembly is better or not, NG50 is better than N50. Now N50 has you know other disadvantages like one is like a side like this is one more point like this is not uh, N50 will just tell uh, the sequence contiguity like how continuity you know your sequence is but it will not tell whether our assembly is correct or not okay this is important means it can be there are lot of you know misassembly might be there uh, but N50 will not tell okay and again point like N50 is not meaningful for different assembly size we saw that and uh, yeah N50 value does not improve for near complete assemblies because once we have a good scaffold only small context will remain right because already 70 percent of the context are there uh, 90 percent suppose you have reached so another 10 percent you will always get the smaller context so n50 will, uh, will not increase uh, it will not improve and last important thing like n50 is biased if short sequences are excluded this is important okay some people trick it earlier uh, you know people used to trick it let's take an example take an example let's say there are assembly one so where you have assemblies, uh, different contexts like 80, 70, 50, dot, 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 or you have arranged them. Now the N50 value assembly size is, if you do, the total assembly size will be 3.05 kilobase pair. Now what is 50% of the assembly size? That is 152. So N50 value, we have to use this 152 cutoff. So now you see the N50 equal to now 50 because 80 plus 70 plus 50, if you add them together, that will greater than this 152 value. So we say now N50 is equal to 50. So now what I will do the trick, I will remove these two, okay, shorter context, I will remove them, you know, by applying some filtering criteria, I will not consider them in the assembly process. So now what will happen? I have removed the shorter one, okay, so now the assembly size is reduced to 290 kb. Now what is 50 percent of the assembly size? 50 percent assembly size is equal to 290 by 145. Now if we now you see that only we need two contexts, 80 plus 70 which is greater than 145. So now you will say that N50 is equal to 70. So now the trick what you can do in, in order to increase your assembly value, you simply have to remove the shorter uh, context. So this way N50 is biased if shorter sequences are excluded, okay. But this will not happen in case of NG50. NG50 smaller context can be filtered out without affecting the NG50 value. Okay. Again, one more thing. This is same as uh, this parameter. This con uh, context is same as N50. Both are, you know, uh, it will not improve further. Okay. Once it reaches to some value, and uh, it is still only the measure of sequence contiguity, but uh, it will not uh, tell about the correctness of the assembly. Okay. So that's why NG50 is much better than uh, N50 value. And there are another terms are that NA50 and NG50. This is just for alignment. So if we have the reference, you know, what we need to do, we take the context and we align them. 
okay so now this is the actual true representation like if we have the genome sequences and you are improving them further so you can check uh, take your assembly and align them with this assembly so now based on the how much aligned region are there so that only you consider for uh, calculating the total uh, aligned size so we can say that contigs are replaced by the blocks that can be aligned to the reference so with respect to the total alignment length 50 percent how much you know uh, will be reached so that way uh, instead of considering the contig length we will just focus on the uh, actual alignment part in this na50 nga50 value okay so last important concept like this is important uh, is uh, this will actually tell whether the assembly is correct or not okay so now your n50 value is good or ng50 value is good you are very good but still there can be a chances that your assemblies are wrong there are misassemblies so take an example let's say this is your contig okay so it may happen that if you take this contig and align with your reference let's say this is chromosome 1 and chromosome 2 so it may hurt happen that uh, this part will uh, match here and there will be a lot of uh, gap and this part may you know align here so this will be further apart let's say over 1 kbp beyond that this so this kind of uh, misassemblies are generally called a relocation because your two part got relocated so it might happen that there can be inversion like uh, this uh, this align in this strand and this will align in the opposite strand or sometimes you know they can go into different chromosome at all so this can happen like chromosome 1 and chromosome 2 so this type of you know are called the uh, translocation so that's why correctness is measured by detecting how many assemblies are there such as a mismatch might happen you know uh, there is some like for example these two are aligning but lots of mismatch is happening or indels insertion deletion regions are there ha happen or this kind of misjoins are happen so misjoins are considered the least desirable type of misassembly so if your assembly has lot many misassemblies then yes even if your n50 ng50 is good but still your uh, you know overall assembly is incorrect so that's why correctness is another important uh, parameter that one should consider while uh, checking the you know overall assembly process okay so these i have uh, spoken it yeah so yeah so in summary uh, we saw nf ng50 and na50 and all n50 values and we check the correctness of the parameter and how we have we are how we evaluate the you know uh, assembly importantness so in the next uh, videos we will see uh, the we will compare those five tools like sasta miniasm kanu and all five tools we will compare them using quest and we will evaluate all these parameters uh, in the actual uh, report Thanks for watching this video. Hope uh, this was useful to you. And if yes, please like it, share it. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And yes, press the bell notification to get notified when I post the new videos. Thanks for watching. Thanks a lot.